How to make a burlap bow. Burlap bows are a great way to add rustic charm to your home decor and gift wrappings. Even though burlap can be a messy material to work with, it holds its form well and can be easily manipulated into several bow shapes. Basic bow one. Cut a length of burlap ribbon. Use scissors to cut 2 to 3 feet to 91 of wired or free form burlap ribbon. This can be done with nearly any width, but 2 to 4 inch 5 to 10 centimeters wide ribbon will work well for many decorative applications. If you use a much thicker ribbon, you may need to cut a longer piece. It's better to start with too much length than too little since you can trim off any excess toward the end of the project. Crisscross the ends over the center. Lay the burlap ribbon flat and identify the center. Fold the ends so that they crisscross over this center point. The top edge of each folded end should intersect at the exact center point of the ribbon, but the rest of the end will angle downward below this point. Fold the ribbon so that the folds are about as large as you want the final ribbon loops to be. Make sure that both sides are even. Pinch and tie the center. Pinch the ribbon at the center point of intersection, then tie it in place with a small wire tie or piece of twine. Pinch from top to bottom and adjust the inner pleats that form as needed. You should also make any necessary adjustments to the size and shape of the loops before tying off the center. Trim the wire tie or ribbon after tying it on. Keep it as short as possible so it will be easier to cover. Cut a smaller length of burlap ribbon. Use scissors to cut 4 to 6 inches of wired or free form burlap ribbon. This piece of ribbon should be one half to two thirds the width of the main ribbon. Make sure that it is wide enough to hide the center but not wide enough to distort the shape of the bow. Cover the center using the second piece. Wrap the new length of burlap around the center of the bow and tack it into place using hot glue. Make sure that this piece of burlap completely hides the wire or ribbon holding the bow's shape. Also note that the end of this center piece should be positioned to the back of the bow. Snip the ribbon ends. Trim the ends of the burlap as desired, and try to keep both ends the same approximate length. You can trim the ends at a simple slant, but cutting a v shape into both ends can give the bow a decorative appearance. Doing so also makes the burlap less likely to unravel. Use as desired. The burlap ribbon is now finished. You can use it to decorate frames, wreaths, and more. <laughs>